with a good one coming at you. It's the Cleveland Guardians and the Boston Red Sox. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about ready to go and towing the slab for the Boston Red Sox in this one. Brian Bayo. What do you got on him, Chris? Well, he's been a real quality starter for his club. And coming into this one, what stands out for me is that right-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 on the year. It seems that they have a hard time picking up his release point and tracking the ball into the zone. So we'll see how right-handers do against him in this one. Ready to go. So in now for Cleveland, Stephen Kwan. Swings and misses. And the count is one and two. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. And down on strikes he goes. And one out now. And now it's Ahmed Rosario. Here's a guy who's been struggling so far this year. It's only late April, but still hoping he'll turn it around soon. And the righty deals. Hard hit, left field, base hit. And that's going to roll to the wall. Around first and hustling for second. Throw, and it gets away. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Here's Jose Ramirez. The pitch. That's through there for a strike. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. Tapia settles under it and makes the catch. That's out number two. Here's Josh Naylor. Hot shot to first base, and he snags it to end the inning. Guardians leave one. Now the Red Sox will get their shot. No score. You're dialed into the show. And we're back here at Fenway Park. And on the hill today, Zach Plesak. Well, you know this guy wants to be better than that. I mean, the ERA is bloated. He understands that he's got to put his team in a better position to win ball games. And at this point, you have to forget about your own individual stats, and you have to go out there and attack and try to get that W. And if you do that, you'll look up, and most likely that ERA will have dropped over time. Rips that one to right. And a quick out number one. That the designated hitter. Masataka. Masataka Yoshida up next for the Red Sox. Good eye right there. On the ground, Jimenez. And the home first moving along quickly today. Two gone. Batting third. The first base. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Turner now. The 1-1. One, one. Oh.
comes up empty. That's strike two. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. And that one is lifted in the air. Gonzalez trying to get there. Makes the grab on the run. And that'll do it. On to the second from Fenway Park. No score. Top of the second. Here's Josh Bell. The first base Josh Bell. The 1-1. One, one. Yeah, there's the strike. Got him swinging. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. And now Oscar Gonzalez. Swing and a miss. Hit a count, one and two. One down, base is empty. Popped up. Number 47 under this one. Pulls it down, and there's two gone. Well, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. And I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrated with himself until his next at bat. Here's Andres Jimenez. That misses the zone. Two balls and a strike. Second inning here, no score. Check swing. He went two and two. Two outs. That's a ball. Careful. To third. And that chance handled. Fires over to first. Guardians go down in order. Guardians fail to score. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom of the second. Here's Rafael Devers. Not only can he hit the cover off the ball, he's got a great eye as well. Chris, you ready for a nugget? Ready. Rafael Devers homered in three straight games against the Yankees before he turned 21. The only other player to do that, Babe Ruth. Next one is off the plate, and that's ball two. Sliced hard, but foul. Sometimes at Fenway, you just got to think about trying to hit it to the back of the bullpen, right? Right. Drive it over the bullpen. I mean, if you've got pop, put on a show. Still two and two after the foul ball. Kicks and fires. And that's down it away. Devers swings and drives one. Deep right field. Carrying well. Bangs off the wall. And that's a double. Love how he became a really tough out with two strikes right there. A lot of times in today's game, right fielders are able to get to a ball that stays in like that, but he hit that one pretty well. And if he hits it just a little bit different on the barrel, it's out of here easily. But there's nothing wrong with the extra bases right there. Now batting Jaron Duran. On the ground, right side, gathers and throws to first. That's one out, the bottom of the second. Rymel Tapia up to hit. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here.
Devers stands at third with one gone of the inning. The one one is fouled off. Kicks and deals. This one in the air right field. Gonzalez moves under this one. Makes the grab. Runner tags from third. He's in to score on the sack fly, and it's 1-0. In that situation, you're lucky to get something up in the zone that you can put in the air. Worst case scenario, a sacrifice fly to drive in that runner from third. So two down now, and here is number 47. The pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And here it comes. That one drilled left field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that ends the inning. One run on one base hit. No errors and no one left on. We play two full. It's the Red Sox one and the Guardians nothing. Back here at Fenway. And now the veteran catcher, Mike Zunino. Mike Zunino. Popped up first base side. Turner has this one sized up. Puts it away for the out. The center fielder, number seven. Miles. Miles Straw. Straw digs in for the Guardians. And yeah, the right hater deals. Late with the swing there. One ball. Two straight. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. A dive and he can't haul it in. Around second now, going for three. Pulls into third safely with a triple. Still able to come through behind in the count right there. Just a very nice approach and swing right there to use the big part of the field. Everything was on time. He stayed balanced through the entire swing and just launched that one into center. Here's the left fielder, Stephen Kwan. Went down on strikes his first time through. The 2 1. And a foul ball. Fly ball to right. Verdugo makes the catch. Runner tags from third. Throw is offline, and he scores. It's 1-1. One, one. Oh, we got ourselves a new ball game. Nice job right there at the plate. Sacrifice fly, and he gets in the tying run. Ahmed Rosario digs in for the Guardians. Doubled his first time up. Tied up here in the early going. Next offering is downstairs. He didn't want to give up that run, but he did. Got the fly ball, sack fly out. Now it's time to attack these other guys. Get your team back in the dugout. And the pitch. That misses. And now three and one. Jose Ramirez waiting for a turn at the plate. And that's ball four. Well, that's a really good take right there, and that's just mentally prepared, knowing that if it's not on a tee, you're going to take that pitch because you still have one more strike to work with. Not easy to lay off, but he did an excellent job in that plate appearance. At the belt and fires. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. 
And he deals. On the ground, right side. And it finds its way through for a hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Yeah, Gotta bad. love the resiliency he showed in that at bat, yeah. battling with two strikes. Yeah. Just one of those seeing eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you enough. And now it's Josh Naylor. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Tapia makes the play, and that is the inning. One run in the inning, but they leave two. We head down to the home half of inning number three. All tied 1-1. One, one. As we go to the last of the third, and the batter will be the shortstop, Christian Arroyo. Arroyo. One, two now. And down on strikes. And that's the first out. Connor Wong up next for the Red Sox. Ball to strike. Called strike right there. Swing and a miss struck him out. Here's Alex Verdugo. Over one so far. Here's a 1 1. And a good eye there. And a swing and a miss there. I think he was sitting off speed there. And the 2-2. Verdugo checks his swing. Appeal down to third. No swing. Got him looking. And it's a three-up, three-down inning. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. here at Fenway Park. Go, New inning getting go, started. Josh Bell at the plate now. What about the fans at Fenway? Would they let you have it from time to time? They're definitely intelligent baseball fans, which is awesome. They're not waiting for something to happen. They can smell a big inning or anticipate a situation setting itself up. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. One thing I found that was very cool was making a great play to end the inning and running off the field and getting a standing ovation even at times when you're not a player on their team. As long as you're not winning, they will celebrate and applaud a great play on the field. These fans here, they love and respect baseball. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch, and I'll tell you what, he earned that ball. Go ahead, run on base. Stepping up for the Guardians, Oscar Gonzalez. Here's a one two. The two two. Got him swinging. He chased the changeup. One away. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Here's the second baseman, Andres Jimenez. Grounded out his first time. Next offering way upstairs. Right-hander kicks deals. 
That just misses. Three balls and a strike. Jimenez checks his swing, appeal to third, and Ed Drummond right on it says he held up. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Here's Mike Zanino. And a pitch. Gets him to chase after that one. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. The pitch. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Throw back in. Holds the runner at third. Base is now loaded. Only one away. Well, that was an important at bat in this game, so a great job there stepping up to the challenge. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. And now it's going to be Miles Straw. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. The one two. Back to the mound. There's one. Double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. Just trying to sneak one through with the bases loaded, but an excellent job by the defense to turn that one and get out of this jam. in Boston. Now here is Masataka Yoshida. The 1-1. And that one wrapped foul. You know, these Red Sox doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at-bats out of them. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. Swing, and a ball popped up, and there's one down. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next that arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. So now Turner in on that right side. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. Well, that right there is just a pitcher's now pitch. Tailing away from the hitter, low and away with some good action at the end. You know, even if he gets the bat to that ball, it's probably just a weak ground ball to the opposite side. I tell you what, that's a tremendous two-strike pitch. Now it's Devers at the plate. One for one with a double and a run score. The 1-1 one -one is cut on and missed at a pitch upstairs. Left hand batter waits. That one is absolutely belted. It bangs off the wall. Now back, center fielder. Two outs, runner at first. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Jaron Duran. Next offering misses, and a count two and one. And there's a fly ball deep right field. That one's carrying. And it's gone! That fires up the home crowd. His second of the year. And just like that, they're out front. It's 3-1. So, Singy, this is a little bit of a surprise. A guy known for line drives 
Hits one over the fence. Well, if you're a little too early, you'll get some elevation and the ball will get out of the ballpark. For him, it's kind of a mistake. But you know what? When you have such a good approach, every now and then you're going to run into one. Stepping in, Rymel Tapia. Going to count one and two. Left-hand hitter waits. Bounce to the right side. Jimenez throw to first. And that is the inning. But two come across to score in the inning courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now a 3-1 ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in Boston. Top five, John Chomby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Stephen Kwan. The wind and the pitch. That one missed. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Fouls one away, and now three and two. Righty to the plate. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Now he breaks his bat. Bare hand grab, not in time. He's safe. It was a healthy cut, but the same can't be said for the contact. He got just enough of the ball to put it in play, and that's all he needed. Tough play for the defense on what was kind of a swinging bunt. Ahmed Rosario now at the plate. And a pitch. Ground ball could be two. Quickly to second for one. On the first double play. Now it's Jose Ramirez. The outfield shifted pretty heavily towards right field. And one and two. One ball. Two straight. Righty delivers. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The next pitch misses, two and two. Now just about to hit that century mark, 100 pitches for this game. Next one is off the play. Full count now. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Josh Naylor waits on deck. Swing and a miss, and he's down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Back here at Fenway, ready Leading to go off. for the last We're half of the right inning. Off. Leading off, number the 47. And then where? Both Here's a one, two. That misses off the outside edge. It's a good take. Out towards right center field. Straw chasing after it. Dives, but it's off his glove. Base hit. And he makes it into third with a leadoff triple. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Just a beautiful triple from start to finish. Got a pitch he could drive, turned on it, and hammered it out front into the gap. Right out of the box. I love how he was hustling. And I think he knew he was going for three as soon as it touched down. Here's Christian Arroyo. He was a strikeout victim his first time. 
and a pitch. Got the bat going too soon. It's strike two. On the ground to first. A flip to the pitcher covering. There for the out. Runner scores from third. Connor Wong, the next to hit. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Just missed. Cleveland has some action going in their pen. Peyton Battenfield, the rookie right-hander, is getting loose. Morgan warming up as well. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Whew. Blows the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more right fastballs in that right location. Down. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. The 1-1. One -one. And it's fouled away. The wind of the pitch. Good oh. eye in that spot. He missed the zone, but I don't think he missed his spot. That was a good pitch with two strikes. A rope into right, and that's a base hit. And that extends the inning. The bat, the hitter. Now here is Masataka Yoshida. Verdugo off of first with two away. And now two balls and a strike. Yoshida tries to check his swing. Now a look to third. And that's going to be ruled a swing. 2-2 two -two now. And now the count filled up three and two. Three, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. And that's ripped into left. Base hit. Verdugo around second. And that's a two out double. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. Always exciting to see a play at the plate. Trying to score with two outs, but the tag just gets him in time. And they cut down the run to end the inning. So the Red Sox bring on a new pitcher, Brennan Bernardino. Bringing in the lefty with a left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. Now it's going to be Josh Naylor. The lefty ready, and a 1-1. And a big swing and a miss. Back up the middle, knocks it down. The first base is number nine, John Hunt. And now the switch hitting first baseman, Josh Bell. Here's a one to one. They say you win. Runner at first with no outs here. And now the lefty 
That misses the zone, and the count's even at two. Well, he might have to look for a different put-away pitch right here, 2-2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at-bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. On the ground to third. Devers fires across the diamond. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. Oscar Gonzalez digs in for the Guardians. Runner at second here, one gone. Hammered on a line to the left, base hit. The throw to third, he's in there. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. One away, runners at first and third. Andres Jimenez digs in for the Guardians. Misses, and the count's full. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play, the game plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. And so the Red Sox go to the bullpen. Nick Pavetta. Really tough spot to come into out of the bullpen. Bases loaded with multiple outs to get in a tight ball game. A lot can happen right here. Mike Zunino digs in for the Guardians. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. The 1 1. And there's a foul ball. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. The 1 2. And that skips in the dirt. The Red Sox with some bullpen action. John Schreiber getting ready to go. Blyer getting cranked up as well. Right handed reliever. And that's downstairs and outside. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. I'm not sure that was the exact location the pitcher wanted, but it worked. He got the swing and miss, and I'm sure a bit of sigh of relief after seeing that one go through the zone. Digging in, Miles Straw. Naylor, the runner at third. Gonzalez on second. Jimenez at first, two out of the inning. Battling here as he fouls it away. And a payoff pitch. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. Devers has a beat on it. Makes the play, and it's out number three. So a strong showing there from the Boston bullpen. Heart of the order, 3-4-5 coming up. The Red Sox four, and the Guardians one. A new arm into the game, the righty, Peyton Battenfield. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of them right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Turner climbs in on that right side. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely. Try to hit the ball out of the park. Do what he loves to do. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. This guy will throw any pitch at any count. 3-2. He goes off speed. Gets the out. And it's Rafael Devers in the box. Devers, the baby-faced assassin. He's a guy who does it all. With the lack of contact in today's game, this guy hits for contact, so he delivers average. 
but there's on base and slugging too. Pitch misses, and the count is two and two. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power, but then if this hitter gets a strike. Two-two on the way. Popped up, and it falls. Around first, heading for two. Throws to second, but he's in there easily. Hey, whatever works, right? Doesn't have to be impressive. Just a blue pit behind third right there, and that's a really tough play for a third baseman or shortstop to get to, and the same for the left fielder. So he just found a perfect place to drop that one in right there. Man at second with one away. And stepping in from Boston, Jaron Duran. He's already homered here in this one. Man at second. Swings and misses. It's two and two. One out and a runner at second. Oh. And now it's filled up. Okay. Line drive caught. Now got left field. Right ball. And here is Rymel Tapia. They say you win. One ball, two straight. Two outs and one in scoring position. Pitch misses. Ball two. Out to short. On the run. Sends it over to first. That is the inning. One left for the Red Sox as they hold on to a 4-1 lead. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound. John Schreiber. He last pitched two days ago. So the batting order turns over. Stephen Kwan digs in for the Guardians. That one lifted to left. Tapia settles under it. Puts it away for the out. The bat. The short shot. Ahmed. Ahmed Rosario, Rosario getting ready to hit. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Fooled on that pitch, got a little anxious, and now in a two strike count, he's going to have to widen out his stance, choke up on the bat, and really make sure. He has pitch recognition before pulling the trigger. Kicks and fires. Lifted in the air right center field. Verdugo grabs it on the run. Two outs, base is empty. And up next for Cleveland, Jose Ramirez. The pitch. And a count one and two. And the righty deals. Foul ball still a one and two count. The pitch. That's inside. Yeah. 
Pitch misses. Three and two now. Josh Naylor to bat next. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Now bad. They hand the ball over to a new arm, Richard Blyer. This southpaw's been really good against left-handed hitters. Number 56, Richard Blyer. Now it's the Guardians' DH, Josh Naylor. Step off, throw to first. Ramirez, back on a dive. Another move to first. And yeah, they're keeping him close. Kicks and deals. There's a strike. One ball. Two strikes. And the pitch. Got it by him for the K. One left for the Guardians, and they trail it 4 1. Back here at the ballpark at the play, number 47. The second baseman, Edmund Weller. You know, these Red Sox, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. We've heard lots of loud noise coming from their bats in this one, haven't we? I mean, they've logged six hits at 90-plus exit velocity, and that doesn't happen by accident. Another one-two. Yeah, that's too high. And a base hit right there. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Showed a lot of fight with two strikes in that A.B. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages, working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. So, man aboard. Now it's the shortstop. That one is blasted. Left field towards the monster. And caught on the warning track. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that now pitch that away that and wasn't it. able to stay close. Connor. Connor Wong up next for the Red Sox. And he's back in on a dive. And here it comes. Try to get him to chase on the change up that time. He's going. Run around the move. Swing and a miss. Throw is low, and he can't pick it. Turned out to be a pretty good pitch to run on right there. Off-speed pitch down in the zone. That can be pretty tough for a catcher to reach down and grab it and then get rid of it quickly enough to prevent that would-be base dealer. At the belt and fires. Just off the outside edge. Ball three. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Third time he struck out in this one, no and definitely no an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days, but when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W.
Next pitch oh. misses, and it's two and two. Runner at second, two down. Goes down swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. And the Red Sox leave one, but they lead it four to one. Back now at Fenway, ready to begin the eighth. And now the first baseman, Josh Bell. The pitch. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats, try to chip away at that lead because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. And here's a 3 2. And it's That's ball four. four. He missed down low. Well, you know, this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in this one. Ball. It's the second time he's the taken right ball here. four. Oscar, Oscar Gonzalez digs Gonzalez. in for the Guardians. Out, Nobody out. Runner at first. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. That's back there. Into the monster seats and gone. That'll fire up the dugout. His second of the year, and they add a pair. It's 4-3. Just relentless. This team will not quit. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, waited for it. It was like BP all over again. The new pitcher in the game, Ryan Brazier. Hasn't pitched in the last three days. Now it's the second baseman, Andres Jimenez. And a 2-1 on the way. That one pulled foul. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. The tying run at the plate. Gets a piece and stays alive. The 2-2 two -two now. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. The 2-2 two -two on the way. Next offering is outside. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Mike Zunino up next. Looking to get the tying run on base. Left field. Tapia pulls that one down. And there's one down. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit. And then from there can really settle in. Still only one out here in the inning. And that one almost got him. Straightened him up a little bit. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. So in now for Cleveland, Miles Straw. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. The pitch. Bounce to the right. And that one handled. Tosses to first. That ends the frame. This homer brings the Guardians a bit closer. It's now a 4-3 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Now on the bump, Nick Sandlin. Now just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. So coming into the game now on defense, number 46. He takes over behind the plate. Well, 
one run game and now the DH Masataka Yoshida beautiful swing in his last at bat opposite field knock and that one upstairs Sandlin a very difficult guy to get hits off of it's really rare for teams to string stuff together against him he wins every pitch and for a hitter sometimes a victory is just fouling off one of his pitches on the ground out to short to first but it pulls him off the bag that's a play you expect your shortstop to make pretty much every time pretty routine Hard to tell if he didn't get a great grip on it or the mechanics on him just broke down, but that gives this offense an extra out to work with. Man at first, and here's the first baseman, Justin Turner. And a 1-1. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Unless he beats himself, somehow can't find it, doesn't have the control and command that day, you can pretty much forget about it. Here's a one-two. And a ball oh. evens the count. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Trevor Steffen up and throwing for Terry Francona. Two-two. Struck him out swinging. Slider got him for strike three. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Sandler checks on first, and he's back in safely. As a hitter, there's even more pressure to take advantage of any mistake, right? Yeah, and you're hoping that, you know, somehow, some way, whether it's a hit by pitch, a walk, something bad happens because outside of that, his stuff is just too good to fail. Left hand hitter waits. That one is upstairs. And he's got deception in his delivery. And it's not that he's trying to deceive the hitters. He just has this natural flow that makes it hard for hitters to pick the ball up. It gets on them a little bit quicker than they anticipate, even though they know what the velocity numbers are. And he deals. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Center field, number 16. First and second, one out. Jaron Duran up next for the Red Sox. He's already homered in this game. The pitch. That's a little bit low. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Yoshida, the lead runner at second. Devers at first, one gone. That's off the mark. And now three balls and a strike. Good pitchers make pitches in big situations. And right here with a middle-of-the-order hitter up, runner in scoring. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. They're going crazy in the dugout. And they tack on three. It's 7-3. Singy, the ball is jumping off his bat. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spent on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient, and it paid off. So Cleveland brings on a new reliever, Eli Morgan. He's into the game with the bases empty. Base is empty, one away. Next to hit, Rymel Tapia. Ground ball right side. And he takes it himself for the out. Now back the second, the second baseman. baseman. And then well. Ball dead. Here's the second baseman, number 47. Showed a really nice opposite field approach in his last at bat. 1-1 one, one now. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two.
And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Sox get three on the homer. Last chance coming up for the Guardians. Welcome back. All set to start the ninth in this one. Now the left fielder, Stephen Kwan. And a pitch. Falling behind two and one. Bullpen activity starting up now. Kenley Jansen, the veteran right-hander, appears to be loosening up. The two one. In the air, left field, down the line. Pulls it in on the run. And there's one down. Stepping up for the Guardians, Ahmed Rosario. The next offering misses. Three and two down. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Swing and a line drive and a base hit up the middle. I don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but he did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. Jose Ramirez digs in now. Ball to strike. The pitch. In the air on the infield. Devers drifts towards it. Calls it in. Two away. Last out for the Guardians in this one. So next will be the four-hole hitter for the Guardians. Josh Naylor. One, two. Two, two. That one hit to right. Verdugo gets under it. And that'll do it. What a real nice performance out of the pen. This guy is not the one who usually gets the final out, but extended his role a little bit and helped his team get the win. He got the save. Nice job. 7-3 is how this one ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long.